So PayPal and Stripe are two of the main platforms used. So both PayPal and Stripe users, U.S. fees per transaction are 2.9% plus 30 cents, and both offer plans with no setup. So this is actually fascinating because if you look at this right here, 2.9% and 30 cents compared to Venmo said that their fees are going to be 1.9%. So that's one whole percentage smaller and a whole 20 cents per transaction smaller. So you can imagine, let's say I have a transaction. Let's, you know, let's say for a normal person, let's say you're selling some piece of art or something and it's like 50 bucks. Okay. And we're going to multiply that by uh, 1.9% plus 0 0.10. So that's a dollar 50. So that's not bad. You know, a dollar 50 transaction fee for a $50 transaction. Well, now let's look at what is that different if we do the 2.9% plus 30 cents. So you're saving 75, 70 cents. You're saving 70 cents by going with Venmo versus PayPal or Stripe when you're charging like $50. If you're lower than that, then there's really not a benefit at all. Um, and it doesn't look like there's a way to do any e-commerce on here or anything. So um, I still think it's worth setting up the profile because again, you're gonna be on here before anyone else is. And I think there's a benefit to that. This is again, like I'll be able to send people and I'll be able to get this discounted transaction fee, which is great. Um, and you know, so let's go just real quick. A lot of my art might be like $500 and we'll multiply that by 0 0.019 plus 0.1. So that's a $9.6 transaction fee on $500. Like that's nothing. Uh, if I were to do it through Stripe or PayPal, like I do now, I do most of my transactions through Stripe, um, 2.9%. So $500 times 0 0.029 plus 30 cents. So that's almost $15. So the difference is like, you know, $6, which over time, you know, if I did a, a, a transaction every month, I'd be saving like a hundred bucks by using Venmo. And also who knows, maybe I'd get more transactions because it's easier for people. So that is the info, the scoop on the profiles, which is, oh, they messed up my photo. That's the scoop on the business profiles for Venmo. If you have any questions or comments on this, is this something you're going to use? Do you have any ideas about how it could be used? Did I totally miss something while I'm signing up here? Comment down below and let's have a discussion about this. I'll kind of try to keep an eye on this because once I think the opportunity here is if there is, if this like, you know, let me go back here. The opportunity here is if there was a local like map or something. You know, like here, there's a bunch of people that have signed up locally and maybe I want to, I'm, I'm, I think, you know, if some, people could actually shop within Venmo and especially if Venmo allowed me to like put some products up and stuff, then this would be super useful. So I'm hoping that's where they're headed and I'm going to keep an eye on it. And I hope you keep an eye on it as well, because I think that's going to be a huge opportunity because there's a lot of users on Venmo. So thanks again for watching. Hopefully this was useful and insightful and we'll see you in another video.